Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what it do? Hey, man, we back. Um, Sorry for the delay. Uh, One thing I just want to tell y'all, man, don't don't let nothing stop you. You feel me? Um, In life and what you're doing, you know, keep on going. Um, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, Demon Slayer. That's, it, the name sounds crazy, but really it's a, it's a story about, um, you know, making it through, endeavoring, like uh, having hard things happen to you in life and still um, fighting through. Um, you know, that's, that's really the, the whole thing of, of Demon Slayer and having a goal and attacking it full force. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and what we're going to be getting into with this episode is definitely going to talk about that. Um, so I just want to say, hey, man, whatever you're doing, keep on going. If you got a goal, um, you know, fight for it, you know, and and don't give up. Um, so we're going to be talking about uh, Demon Slayer again. Uh, this episode two, I believe season three, your Ichi Type Zero. Um, so getting right into it, um, Tanjiro meet Muichiro, um, which is... Uchio Tokido, he wanted a Hashir. Um, he'd have missed Hashir. That's the, the first thing he'd have missed Hashir. Um, so they basically talking. Um, it's a young demon, uh, not demon slayer, but um, it's a young swordsman um, who is trying to train. He have basically uh, a training doll, which is called the Yorichi Type Zero doll. Um, it got six arms. It's like a training doll, so that uh, basically, you know, they can the uh, Hashira, everybody else, they can get stronger. Now, um, the young swordsmith is basically telling Muicho, like, "Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna let you train because I don't want you to break the machine." Basically, um, Tanjiro, where he come in is he just getting to the village, you know, based off of episode one. Um, you know, he actually had to get blindfolded and had his nose, you know, stuffed up, everything, um, you know, just to get in into the village, into the Swordsmith village. And this is what the arc is, Swordsmith village arc. Um, so Muicho, let's do a little background on that. First of all, Muicho, he actually got amnesia. Um, we're going to find out a little bit later in the season why that is. Um, but he, he definitely uh, do got amnesia. Um, so he can't remember things like, let's say he meets, he meets somebody, my bad, y'all. <laughs> um, let's say he meets somebody, right? Um, the next interaction that he have with that person, he might not remember. Like, straight up, he might not remember. All right, so, um, basically, like I said, getting back to the, 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 uh, the point of the story. Again, I'm tripping, y'all. Um. <laughs> all right so uh the young swordsmith telling muicho like yo nah if y'all have some helicopters you know how you know how it is um but he like no nah, you're not about to train with the dog break it um muicho he wasn't having it so um he ended up slapping the dude that he like nine the young swordsmith like nah he slapped him so Tanjiro come over there he grabbed his arm like hey man you can't be slapping people like that but his arm uh mucho arm ain't move you know that's how strong he is and Tanjiro looking at him like man this dude like a little bit younger than me you know what I'm saying but he way stronger than me that's why he a high share with you know in a uh, demon slayer world that's like the top of the top of the fighters um <clears throat> so Tanjiro t- is trying to defend him and eventually a Again, like I said, Mucho, he wasn't playing. He knocked Tanjiro out. He gave him the hands, the elbows, all that. <laughs> um, so we see the Yorichi doll, Yorichi Type Zero. Um, again, it got six arms. It mimic how he fight. And the reason why it got six arms is because basically a two-arm doll would not be able to mimic his moves. That's how nice Yorichi was. And Tanjiro... He see his face and he asks, like, hey, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Um, old Tom, again, like we was talking about in the last video, he actually had a dream about Yuichiro, but it was really his ancestor dream. Like, he was 
dream that his ancestor dreamed. Um, great, 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 however many great grandfathers. Um, and basically, he was like, hey, I know this dude. Like, I've seen this dude before. If I'm sweating, y'all, it's hot. But it ain't that hot. I got the, the AC. You feel me? But please forgive me. Um, all right, so <clears throat> they he had that memory like man I, I know this dude from somewhere so he he figured it out like yeah he um actually part of you know the dream but he don't understand the whole dream um but the dream was his aunt ancestor actually talking to Yorichiro uh, uh Yorichi sorry about that y'all Yorichi he was actually talking to him and saying like they was having a conversation but really it was um I would say it was like almost What's the best word I could use? It was a conversation, but it was like, you're not going to see this person again. Like, this is the last conversation we're going to have. It's a meaningful conversation. Um, That's the dream that Tanjiro had. Um, So, Tanjiro wake up, you feel what I'm saying? Um, And he start talking to the young Kotetsu, the young swordsmith. Um, They talk about, um, you know, the doll and like, why well, I got six arms. They kind of explain that, um, just like I explained. Um, And they also talk about the history so the history of it is it's 300 years old it's from basically at the um yorichi died and they was trying to model after him but um yeah man they hey that thing lasted for 300 years and guess what the technology they still haven't like figured out how to make it again so that's why kotetsu is a little bit afraid of uh mucho breaking the doll because he like man first of all his father had passed away. He don't got no siblings. So he like, man, I ain't even that good at being a swordsmith, um, fixing this doll. So if it break, like it's over. It's over. Um, so that's that's his hesitation, you feel what I'm saying? That's why he don't want to um actually let nobody train on it. So the it's actually a crow. Every uh demon slayer got a crow with him. Or it's some type of bird. <laughs> um you know, Zenu to, you know, um, it's some type of bird, but it's usually a crow. Um, so what happened is the crow get to explain and like, yeah, he a descendant of the uh, breath of the sun user. Um, but Tanjiro, like, man, he don't use the, he used the breath of the mist, not the breath of the sun. Um, you know, so long story short, they get to talking like, man, you know, um, hey, this, we got to figure something out. So while they talking, uh, Muichiro, um, he actually come back and he walked past him and he throw Tanjiro something like a like an arm I think it was because he broke the doll arm and he like man I'm taking one of the swords the doll got six swords with six arms um, he like my sword broke I'm taking one of the swords I'm not listening to you I'm I'm a train like I, I'm already done training matter of fact I'm walking away and going back to that the amnesia part he like Man, didn't I meet you before talking to Tanjiro? He just knocked Tanjiro out. He definitely met him before. <laughs> but again, with the, the amnesia. Um, so, you know, the doll, you know, I'm not going to say it's halfway broken, but the face is definitely a little broken for sure. Um, one of the arms is broken. Um, but Tanjiro, man, he give Kotetsu, the young swordsmith, he give him some encouragement and basically say, man, I'm going at my goals, which is to kill Muzan, turn my sister back into a human, you feel what I'm saying, and stop all his death and destruction. That's really what his goals is, you feel what I'm saying, and he, he telling Kotetsu, like, man, I'm going against something that's, that couldn't nobody beat for hundreds and thousands of years, like, unstoppable, but I ain't giving up, you feel me, so he telling Kotetsu, like, hey, you gotta keep that same mentality, and that's like what I talked about in the beginning, um, you know, don't let nobody stop you from what you're doing. Um, you know, keep on going, and you know you're gonna find success. Um, so we're gonna keep on keep on going with this. Um, so they get the doll working again, um, but now Kotetsu want Tanjiro to train. <laughs> and if you don't know something about Demon Slayer, man, it's it's it is a serious it's a serious anime with a lot happening. You know, like heavy themes and. Um, content you know a lot of people passing away like it's a, it's almost like a tragic story but within that tragic story it's a lot of comedy um so this the comedy part basically um kotetsu tra uh training tanjiro he like man 
you know, we go through the, the standard anime trainer montage. But this time with the trainer montage, Tanjiro don't get fed. He don't eat nothing. So Tetsu's like, man, you're not eating nothing until you, yeah, you know I mean, get it together when you're fighting. Because you, you, you're an amateur, is what he's trying to say. He said, you don't really know how to fight. And the crazy part about it, if you think of it, right? Tanjiro really ain't no fighter, man. He was a charcoal, you feel what I'm saying? Salesman. He sold charcoal. He burnt trees and, and sold it, you feel me? But at the same time, being that he knew the dance that his father taught him, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he had something in him already that was, you know, the greatest fighting style ever. But he wasn't no fighter, so long story short, he is out of his comfort zone, but he never given up. You feel what I'm saying? That, that's really what I like about this story. Um, so, you know, they get the training. He he don't feed them for a week, over a week. Um, <laughs> Tanjiro, like, he only survived because of the rain. <laughs> like, it started raining, and that's how he got water. He ain't had no food, water, nothing. Like, whereas, though, he training, right? Uh, training with the Yurichiro doll, and he go to swing. Man, he basically, eyes go white. He basically pass out, right? So when he um, pass out, he having a little monologue to himself. And he like, man, um, I was passing on to the other side. Like, for real, I was going over that river, <laughs> over the bridge <laughs> to the other side. But he fell into the river, right? So he fell into the river. And he like, man, I feel like, it's, you know, anime can be weird sometimes. He like, I feel like I'm getting a massage in the water. And then, like, I see something shiny at the bottom of the uh, river, or the, or the river, and they show it on the animation. Um, he like, I, I, I'm swimming down to the, the little shiny rock, um, and I can start to smell it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and when he start to smell it, basically, he snapped back into life. You feel him? Because he was about to go to the other side. He ain't eat or drink nothing for a week. You know, um, long story short, um, he get a new skill. You feel what I'm saying? And he is almost like he's smelling the way the person going to swing. Now, before, um, you know, you had a thread. He was using the thread. Like, I'm going to smell, you know, what you what you think you're going to do. And I'm going to, and well, really, it was to attack. He was looking for a line of attack. Like, like I'm going to get this thread, and that's how I'm going to cut your head off. Like, the thread is going to lead me to cut your head off. But now he learning the defense of it. Of, basically saying um i'm gonna smell when you attacking like i'm gonna smell your hand moving it's like he his sense of smell is crazy for real like no no joke so he finally landed a hit on the doll and <laughs> kotetsu finally feed him man um he you know real happy about that he real happy about that um but eventually later in the episode we see that he getting his skills together he refining that that instinct that smell for fighting and long story short man um he getting away where he able to uh cut the doll head off you feel what i'm saying he get his energy back but he getting away where he blocking defensively but he also is cutting he cut the, the uh, doll head off right so when he did that um man it was looking like man I can't believe we broke the doll like sad moment but then they look and they look when they look it's a sword in the doll like his head is on the floor you feel what I'm saying but it's a sword in the doll so what we assuming is that the sword is 300 at least 300 years old you know um we assuming that um you know this sword could be useful in the future because as of right now Tanjiro don't got no sword that's why he went to the swordsmith village because he don't got no sword because his swordsmith would not make him one because he kept on breaking. <laughs> we talked about that early. Um, but going forward, man, we're going to see how this training is going to help Tanjiro. But we also going to see how, you feel what I'm saying, um, this sword is going to help him too. So, man, I appreciate Anybody who watching, everybody who watching, man, we're going to build this community up, um, you know, and I, I like to not necessarily um, 
use my words in some situations. I just like to show my actions, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but I appreciate y'all, man. And we're going to have some more anime. We're going to have some more shoes, fashion. You know, we're going to have people coming through, my brothers coming through. Um, and we're just going to have, we're going to, hey, we're going to turn this channel up, man.